never lost. Went to the finals, never lost. You never got there. Who? You. I've been a one-on-one champ. Never lost one-on-one. All right. Back at it again, it's the guy Spence. This time, you know in the building with me. It's the guy Ricardo sitting across from me today. And Ricardo, I got asked one of the most blasphemous, most preposterous, ridiculous, ridiculous, stupid questions. Let me hear it. Do you think? I don't think a lot, but okay. Head ass. 2004, Longview and Kilgore. The question was asked to me, who do I think will win? Longview and Kilgore. The short answer is Longview. The the longer short answer is Longview by a lot, but I can understand where the Kilgore fans come from, and here's why: <laughs> once you win a state championship game in three, four, it was four. Oh, it was four. Yeah. Once you win a state championship game, you have the ultimate confidence in your team. We can attest to that. 2018 Longview team, we'll put them over anybody, right? That's a fact. Like I I, I don't believe there's a team from East Texas that's better than the 2018 Longview team. And the reason why is because they won state. So I can understand why Kilgore fan, that confidence that you get from winning the state championship, you feel like your team can absolutely beat anybody. But. <laughs> Calm down, Kilgore. It's, it's, it's not. It, I love Kilgore, folks. It don't man. work like that. It just doesn't work like that. It just, it, it doesn't. They're not going to beat Longview. But let's talk about Kilgore. What all did they have that year in 2004? I honestly don't remember. So 2004. Kilgore. That's why. That's why I'm getting on Google right now because I just want to. I want to see if I can find this uh, 2014. I think it was people with the likes of like maybe uh, Nick Sanders. Yeah. So Nick Sanders, maybe. of course, and, and he was know, good. He was he good. He was good, and he has the most dramatic play in a state championship game. Ever. Yeah. Like that block kick and then to pick it up and go to the house with it and to end the game in such a dramatic fashion. I understand why people I saw some blasphemous stuff. I heard it never mind, we'll get to it later. I want Nick it. Sanders is a guy that's on that team. Wayne Daniels, a defensive end who was a first team He was uh, pretty good. First team all American in college at TCU. Yeah. Uh pretty good at uh more than pretty good at uh Kilgore, three star. He played tight end the end. Uh Eddie Jones was a five star DN. He was pretty good. Yeah, he was pretty good. Keith Gillum, uh, and running back, rushed for like over three thousand, I think. Well, not three thousand. He was like twenty nine or something. Anyway, yeah, a know. crazy amount of numbers. He goes to Utah State, I think, is where he went. But he had a very, very impressive year. He was a four A player of the year at running back. They had uh, offensive linemen like uh, Lon Roberts, who went to La Tech for a while, started four years now and there. Michael Huey started at Texas. Britt Mitchell was like a tight end on that team. He started at Texas at one point. Uh, so they had talent. And they had individual talent and they were very good up front. And that's right. why they have that's why they would have a chance. That's why they would have a chance is because up front, they're just as they're probably more talented from a recruitable standpoint. Than Longview was in 2004. Uh, all the offensive linemen go D1. All the like two out of the four D linemen go D1. They had more. They had better prospects than Longview did. The thing is about Longview though is our players aren't always good prospects. No. Like you look at some of the best players in school history, and and most of them guys aren't even like recruits. You know what I mean? Right. We think no. of Jeff and I. You think of Demarcus. You think of yeah. like small bodies. Eddie McGee, for, like just five foot five and one hundred fifty pounds. Half for that. But you, Longview was traditionally like good players, bad prospects. Facts. You no, know, Keelan Williams is a prime example of that. That's a fact. So that doesn't just because you have more D one prospects doesn't mean that you have a chance. No. There's honestly, honestly, there's one one common opponent they had that year, and that was Marshall. Now, Longview struggled with Marshall earlier that year, first game of the year, in Kilgore, 2004. Remember, in 04? In 04. So, remember, we had struggled with him. Think about it now. 04. Hold on. We yeah. played that game keep talking, in keep Kilgore. Talking. We played that game in Kilgore. Right. Uh, it was first game of the year. Uh, first game is King being the head coach. Yeah. At halftime, I think we're down. At, at halftime to Marshall. If not down, it's like 
what was, what was the score? Like 15, 14 or some crazy shit like that? Let's go look at it. We got time. Let's take a gander. It's Taking 2004. A gander, 2004. You mean the Marshall game where we no, beat I know them we beat them 40 40 to 15. 15, but Marshall was up 15 to 10 at halftime. That don't mean nothing. It, 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 it does, in a sense. It, it does. Because 15 to 10. This you, is a team. You got a chance. This to is go. a team that I'm was trying to give Kilgore hope, man. Don't don't kill him. Trying this so hard. I'm trying to. They're down 15 to 10 to Marshall at halftime, and then the and Marshall half, doesn't score. And Marshall no doesn't more. score after the first quarter. So that there goes that, and then they play Kilgore played Marshall in 2004. Kilgore beats Marshall 28 to 27 in double overtime. Yeah. So you got one common opponent. You got Marshall in 2004, which Marshall was damn good in 2004. Yeah, Went they were. Went to the state game. Jackie Robinson is one of the best players in East Texas history at yeah. running back. Right. They struggled with Marshall, and it took Marshall, went for like a fake field goal, to a fake extra point to try to win the game in double overtime. Hmm. So the team that you struggled with and barely beat, Longview beat 40 to 15. Fact. I don't think that it's – people don't take into account the, the the classifications, bro. Yeah, 5A means you've got abundance of talent. Yeah, and I'm not not even like it's not like those four guys that like Kilgore didn't even play both ways that year. But the amount of talent that's at Longview, versus the don't. amount of talent at Kilgore, it would be it would be close for half. I'll give you what happened with Marshall. It would be fun to watch. It would be close I for a half because Keith Gillum is a good running back. Yeah, but he's gonna make some plays. But Jackie Robinson to me is better than Keith Gillum. Yeah. Look, Marshall only rushed for, and they rushed 82, for eighty-two yards, yards against Longview in two thousand four. And I'm almost positive that Jackie Robinson didn't have all those yards, but eighty-two yards. Eighty-two yards by the t- entire team through four quarters against Longview in two thousand four. Longview didn't lose a game until the game that they lost in the playoffs, which was three the, rounds deep. Which is one of the most talented Lufkin teams ever. Right. The 2004 Lufkin Panthers, who went on to go to the fifth round and got beat to South Lake Carroll, who won state that year, yeah, is the team that Longview lost to, and Longview had a lead in the second half of the ball game. Right. Like this isn't. I understand like Kilgore was special, and that's probably the best Kilgore team ever. But even at your best, they can't. I, not, 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 not Longview. Okay, so check this out. Maybe 2004 versus another year from Longview. You got a shot. Maybe. You, you got a shot. You catch us. Play 2000. 2000. I ain't going to even say it. Were you going to say 2006? I wasn't going to say that. We would have beat, beat the ass, too. You think so? I'm not going to go on out the limb. We would have beat the ass. Look at the camera and say that. We would have beat y'all ass. The 014, we smacked them. <laughs> Easy. They, they short paper. We would smack them. I'm glad you. You know, what's, you know how I feel, though? Just what? me personally. Maybe I'm biased. I am of from all of you. Yeah. Longview, we just built different. Yeah. You know, you can have everything on paper. You can have, you can, trust me, it's been plenty of times where we get off the bus, we see the team doing warm ups, and mm-hmm. we like, shit, some big old boys over there. Right. And then you get on the field with them, and it's, it's not the same. No, nah, not at all. So size and stature doesn't match, you know, the physicality that Longview, we breed. That's right. why I just feel like we breed that. You don't have to be big. Obviously, yeah. Spence, you five. Six on a tall day. Wow. That's you know, knocked some inches off of you? Definitely. Five. Three. You knocked off three inches off of me. Give me oh. five nine, bro. You five nine on a tall day. Thank you. I say in high school you was like two hundred and five pounds. Depending on what year we're talking. Freshman. I mean not freshman, but your sophomore year. Possibly. You was, you was pretty small. That's pretty accurate figure. And I know you went up against guys twice your size, but Yeah. I mean I think you won a lot None of those battles. It just ain't even about me. I think No, well, not at all. I I think what people are, are a big thing that people are taking account into is the coaching and who John King is. Yeah. John King in big games, especially big games against East Texas schools. And I think a lot of people don't really like don't really understand what beating somebody that's in your own backyard means to John King. Right. Like he loves to play Tyler Lee. Loves to play John Tyler. Yeah. Loves to play Lovekin. Now he does anyway. I don't know back then, but now, you know he, he, I think he did. He, he loves had, he to play Lovekin. Loves to play the people that are around him because he loves when he is on top yeah. of East Texas. So if he got a chance to play a pretty good Kilgore team. Last time Lovey played a team that was pretty damn good in the regular season. 
in 2005. Both teams were 8-0 coming into the game. Rockwell? No, not Rockwell. 2005, man. I played it over. John Tyler. Damn, it was 8-0? It was 9-0 or 8-0. Oh, that was the last game of the so history. So both teams were nine and zero. No, yeah, I think, that was I think, that was that game was literally for the district championship. So for it the feels like it was. John Tyler is undefeated. Longview was undefeated. The amount of shit talk that's going on on the radio from the Blaze is amazing. Like I've never seen the Blaze get in, like involved in 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 smack talk, but them calling John Tyler. As a matter of fact, it was it was the tenth game of the season. Tenth game for us, I think it was like. They hadn't had their bye week yet. Maybe not. So it was like eight and no JT and nine and no Longview. Right. And it was forty two to thirteen. Uh it was. Like I just don't think you guys understand when he plays an East Texas opponent, it's guns blazing away. I and he gonna pour it on you if he and, can. And my thing is exactly if he, he got a chance pour it on you. he and he will not let up. No. He'll let the tools run it up on you. That's a fact. But my thing is somebody had this wild thought that Malcolm Kelly could be covered by Nick Sanders. No. I don't think y'all... As good as Nick Sanders was. And then that's not like no. even a slight at Nick Sanders. Nick Sanders went off to TCU and was like all conference two or three years. He was a good player at TCU. Malcolm Kelly was a second-round NFL draft pick, dog. That's a fact. He was all conference two at OU. All conference at Oklahoma. Unguardable in high school. I want to say he might have played in a, a, a national championship. Game. The only way you guard Malcolm Kelly is to... Double cover. Got to. And the thing is, it's 2004. But if we're talking about a completely healthy 2004, which if we're in the realms of we can say completely healthy 2004 because this is a what-if situation. Right. You got Quincy Grant. Do we got Quincy? Oh, okay. If we got Quincy, then hang it up. Okay, if Carlin, you know, the yeah. passing game wasn't nowhere near the same with Carlin versus Quincy. But no. if we're talking 2004, and if this is fantasy land, we got a healthy Quincy Grant. Yeah. Malcolm Kelly. Von Drill McGee. Chris Ivory. Chris Ivory. Adrian Reese. At Adrian end. Reese. Gordon, Gordon Freeman, Freeman at the end. other tight end. Yeah. Okay, you're receiving. You got Trent Williams you blocking. got Trent Williams blocking up front. It's so who you taking, Trent Williams or Eddie Jones? I'm taking Trent. Wayne Daniels, them. them. I, I, and I, honestly, I think Wayne's probably had a better chance than, than, than what Eddie did, to be honest with you, because he was a little bit better of an athlete. You ain't just going to out-muscle. Like, you're just not going to run over Trent Williams. He's a 280. That ain't going to happen. No, but, I mean maybe you, but even down the athleticism tip, Trish just as athletic as any big guy you've ever seen in your life. Uh, more athletic. I'll put a score out there. I'll say thirty-four seventeen. I'll say mm, I'll say it was probably in thirty-four seventeen. I think Keith Gillum is a good running back. I think it's but we possible. face we face but, good running backs. Though. Absolutely, and Javorski Lane is the only one that got off. And Keith Gillum, like, I don't think he's in that cat in that class. And Javorski didn't even really get he, off like that. He got off late because he was now. Yeah, but he didn't, like he didn't have he no big no runs and like that. Yeah, just... I, I don't. Maybe Keith Gillum gets off. Maybe a punt return or something crazy in the special teams by Nick Sanders to get him a touchdown. Yeah, but it ain't enough. It, it just ain't a, it ain't enough. And I like I said, go back to the common opponent. Y'all play Marshall. Right. You barely beat them in double overtime because they went for a fake extra point. And then we played Marshall, first game of the year, just like first game of the year for them. And we come out and we beat them. 40 to 15. I mean, really 40 to 0 after we spotted them 15 points. Yeah. If you take the second quarter on, it's 40 to 0. Yeah. It ain't, <laughs> it, it ain't, it ain't going to happen, guys. I'm sorry. I, I mean. Y'all were very talented. We, very, I very give talented. them that. Very, very talented. I always, I always give them they just do. I think yeah. even past the 014, you, you talk about 0506 when they was having Jareek Sheffield and my friend Toy and Rogers. He went to, he went to kill going. He did pretty good. Yeah. They had DeAndre Rossum. They had some talent. I always had. But some they talent. always wanted to. They it's wanted to not. match yeah. up with us for some reason, they and don't. I'm like, it's not gonna go the yeah. way you think not. in your head. It's it's not gonna go the same. It just way. don't work that way. Ask Tatum what happened Tatum. when they played uh when they played Gilman. There is a reason why the classifications are the way that they are. And even that Tatum team, it's funny because And that Tatum team won state that year, did they not? Or they, they lost. They went to state. They though. went to state and they went lost. to state. So just as almost just as talented as the year as the groups before, they yeah. played Gilman and they get put seventy points put on their head. Or they got their ass whooped. 
And, that's, the, and that goes from 4A to 3A. I don't understand. Like, it's a, they was trying to say that. And I, they didn't, you know what's crazy about that year? They didn't even have Curtis Brown that year. Obviously, right. he graduated. Yeah. And just think what, how, no, like, and I, I don't, don't know. Think 2004 to me is the most talented group. 2004 Longview? Is, is in the top three. Yeah. The only other team that I could say is up there is 2018. Because they won the thing. Keith but Gilliam just, is not running on Longview. Not when, not when Jackie Robinson can't muster eighty yards. No, no. like that's facts. That's in the pudding. Like even, even Javorski yeah. Lane, dog. Like Javorski. If you go to the stats of the two thousand four game, they did get off on this. <laughs> like that was a lie. They they rushed for two hundred fifteen on this. That ain't a lot. Two hundred fifteen yards is a lot. Well, long view, we rushed for three forty four in that game. Uh, yeah, and that's that's another two forty four. Ain't really a lot because it ain't all about Javorski. They nah, quarterback, they had a very, very agile quarterback. They did. He, he he can move around with that ball, and I think they he did. did. They did, but I, I it just ain't going to happen. But Javorski Lane literally scored every touchdown for us. Yeah, he did. Sad to look at this. Yeah, scored all four touchdowns. Yeah. But they opened no, he, he, he rushed for 140, so 33 carries for 140 yards. That's Javorski Lane. That's Javorski Lane. And it took him 33 Keith carries. Keith is not Javorski Lane. Read out Vondrell's stats for Von that Drell, game. Vondrell, where is he at? Where is the man? Vondrell McGee, 18 carries, 183 yards against a Lufkin defense. That's way better than y'all's probably. All right. I don't know what else we're arguing. It just ain't going to happen, guys. Shout out to Kilgo, man. Kilgo and, for show. Sure. You know, and, and I don't know if other, that's they saying no more. He's, they saw us running around saying Kilgo for show. Sure. Yeah. They I not mean, beating Longview. It's it's not gonna happen. And I don't know how good Coach Val is over there. Shout out to Coach Val, pops of the Val. I know. Uh, I don't. You know, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna say that the coaching there's a coaching advantage on our side or there's a coaching advantage on their side. I will, but I, I don't. Say I don't. That. But I don't know. I don't know Val like that. I don't, I don't know. You, yeah, you you have to be politically correct because you still. You a coach? Well, I mean, and that, I, me personally, any, I, I bro, anybody that like goes sixteen and old gets my respect though. Yeah, like, I don't like care about nothing. Yeah, I feel you. I don't care about none of that. I feel you. I, I always put King. I'm just looking at Kilgore's, like, records throughout the years. And yeah. for somebody, like, I, I think they were arguing. You got with it? Them. You got yeah, it? Yeah, it's right there. They were What's arguing 06? with uh, Breland online telling us. Oh, six. They went six and four in 06? Yeah. We we, we smacking them. Uh, no, oh. I'm, we're not talking about the 06 year, bro. I was talking about the 014 versus the 06 long year. I'm, I'm just comparing. Oh, okay. Because I remember 06, them saying, like, we ain't... Tell Longview we'll beat them. Nice. Oh, like, and they went six and four that year. They went six and four. Hey man, it's they went six and four, fam. Cloud chasing. Six and, and four. Nice. That's that's what a Longview Kilgore game is. Straight cloud chasing. There's a lose lose situation for us. We beat y'all ass. Nobody cares. Right. If y'all happen to get lucky, catch us on a 2016 year, then <laughs> that's the year I was gonna <laughs> did say. I just, but did I just say that, bro. I don't. Loud. You said that loud. Who cares? You said that loud. I mean, it's a, even even their 2016. They just it's it's not comparable. Bro. Oh like, wow. They're not gonna. Play. That would be a good game. No, seven and five. 2016 went seven and three. Seven and four. Seven and four. No, we didn't. We, we Long won seven games. That's a lot. That's not true. Longview in 2016. Yeah, we went like nine and three, bro. Bro. No, we didn't because we only played 11 games. What we do? In 2016. We won more than seven damn games. Are you positive? We about won eight. Won eight uh, games. Eight, won eight, four. Eight, eight, eight and three. So, damn it. Put some respect on 2016. Team. I'm sorry. But since King's been coaching, that's the fewest amount of games he's won. True enough. season. True enough. And they wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> don't start hey man we gonna get out of here I don't want to take too much of y'all's time that's fun though it's like, a, you know it's a fun imaginary game to think about 04 04 kill goal long view I'm but I'm just, just I'm gonna respect them and say they, they don't have a chance bro. I, maybe they score late I think they score early they get one drive they get down there and they kick a field goal and then maybe they get a, a late, late score when it doesn't matter right I'll give them 17 points uh, That's fair. I think honestly, I said thirty-four, but I'm thinking forty-one. If you you can't thinking, you can't thinking, give you can't give too much attention to Malcolm. I'm thinking fifty. Either way, I'm it, thinking fifty. Either way, it ain't gonna go down like y'all think it. Longview put up a fifty ball on them. I ain't gonna say that. I'll say thirty-four, seventeen. Fifty ball. Ricardo says fifty ball. Either way, I don't have a chance. And like that, in the words of Stephen A. I'm out. I'm out.